Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jacer. In this video, I'm going to take a look at a, a 4A7 max consecutive ones too. Uh, I've done the first version, which is a very simple one. Now, this is a slight change to that. We're given a binary array. Find the maximum number of consecutive ones in this array. If I can flip at most one. In the previous problem, it was about c counting the maximum subarray with ones, right? We would we do that do it with one pass. We just keep track of the previous none one I, uh, index, right? And uh, get and uh, subtract it with the last uh, uh, with the next none one element and get the length of substitute of subarray of one. And now it says we could flip at one, most one zero. If we flip this zero to one, then these will be connecting together, right? So, how could we solve this problem? Well, um, let's take a look at the example. Suppose, um, when we met this zero, we would find a subarray with ones, right? And then we go to the next subarray and find another z uh, ones. But the problem is, is it possible that we connected these two together? Right? Mm. So, yeah, if, if it is one zero, of course, we can just, uh, just uh, sum the subarrays up. If there's a two zero, Actually, our uh, what we're keeping track of is the uh, previous zero. So this zero will be ignored, and only this zero will be will be used, right? And the first one is minus one. Okay, let's just uh, revise it. So for pref, the first we said is minus one, and then we go to this zero and calculate the previous uh, subarray length one, right? Uh, length is one. Okay, when we get to zero one, right, and then we update the previous one zero a previous okay prev non one index. We update it to one, and then go to the next zero. We update it to two, right, and then go to here one one one. Go to this zero, and got two. So we so we got two, a subarray of ones with then two. Now the index will be updated to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 5. That's it. That's the previous problem. So here, actually, we could just, uh, when we are calculating the, the length, right? We could check a little further. We were subtracting the 5 with the 2. Actually, we could, the previous index, right? 2, right? Yeah, 2, 5. We could check the the previous one, then previous uh, previous number to this index, like because we're going to calculate the the length here. What if if we just uh, if we found that uh, this one is one, we could flip this zero to connect them up, right? So we will check the index before this one. If it's zero, we would sum them up, and uh, so we need to keep track keep track of previous. Prev consecutive, prev okay, subarray, right one then right, cool. So I think we could, I think we we already found a uh, uh, a s similar uh, approach of the previous previous one, a previous problem, and just with a slight a change, and the time complexity doesn't change actually. We still Linear time. Let's do that. Okay. So we need not prev non one index. Set it to minus one. And then we need to keep keep track of prev sub array one length. Right. This zero default to zero. Nothing. And let the result to be zero. Cool. Now let's loop through the num num numbers. 
as we did before, we we step one further to make things simpler. Okay, if it is one, we do nothing. If nums i is not one, if it is not one, then it must be a non z uh, a what? Uh, yeah, it might is this zero, so there might be a subarray of ones, right? So then it would be a current subarray one, then would be I subtract with priv minus one, right? Yeah, just just check if uh, there are two sub sub array with only one zero between. So const is connectable, which means nums uh, i no priv right. This index is priv. Oh, I'm sorry here. Is previous one, if it is uh, if it is one, then we could connect, right? So we update the result. Math max result with if it is connectable. If it is connect connectable. Then it should be what? Oh, okay. We actually, I think we. To if it is empty, we should continue. Uh, oh wait, I'll do it later. Okay, if it is connectable, then we should be current nth plus uh, the prev subarray nth, right? If not, then it should be itself. Yeah, this is it. And we don't forget to update the prev now one index. It should be one. It should be i. And uh, we should update the prev now one in, uh, uh, array nth also, right? There's a problem if this previous one is zero and we miss zero. The current nth is actually actually it's a uh, it's nothing, right? We should. Uh huh. Yeah. Previous one is not one. Then we could just skip. Good. And uh, skip if no one. If numbers i minus one is not one, then nothing. We will just update the proof index to i and continue. All right. If not, we calculate it and do this calculation and update the i. Ah, then update the nth. Oh, I'm sorry. This should be the i. The nth should be this. Cool. And finally, we return the result. Oh, we return 3. But we return 4. Mm -hmm. Proof then, uh huh. Proof then is current, uh huh. And the next one we will find two. Ah, with the zero fl flipped, so zero is another one, right? So plus one, plus. Oh, I click submit. Ah, shit! If it's a, we got z one. Mm -hmm. What? Um, if we made zero, uh huh. If it's zero, why we ah the last one right? Okay, when we made the last one, but still it's not one, so we continue. We didn't update the result, I think. Huh? Really? Ah, uh, in 
take this this out to zero ah I, I see ah I see I see so so yeah if connected we connectable yes if not actually we could plus one right so if that's the case this is not necessary yeah if not we plus one as the uh, zero previous one non zero and we, when we update then we shouldn't update it to z we should update to one uh, zero. Oh yeah 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 you should update mm. cool mm -hmm. oh shit oh if this is one we are uh, going to this one this is n so previous one is uh, previous one ah plus one no we should have plus one God, yeah. We only plus one if it is a uh, zero, right? If it is undefined, it's not okay. Yeah. Ugh. Tricky. So the previous one, previous this. If it's undefined, then it's zero. If it is okay, if zero. Then we could change it to one, right? Uh, if not, I think it should be zero. It's tricky. Finally, we are, we made it, and uh, it seems like we're not doing very great. Oh, it's okay. It's acceptable. The time complexity. We're doing things through. Okay, I think I'll make the code much be, uh, make the make it cleaner here connectable it's always connectable right actually the previous one actually yeah it's always connectable because we already consider the zero case the the empty array in to previous separate end so it's always connectable We will just current sub array plus this actually. If and uh, pr pr okay, this is it, right? Current one plus previous one. Previous is previous one is. Ah, uh, I see. If previous one is not is zero, we change it to one. Uh, we plus it. And. Uh, and the previous to subarray length, the previous subarray length is should be zero. If there were only only one zero, then it is set to the previous subarray. If it is several zeros, then this previous subarray length will be set to zero. So it's it should work. Yeah. Cool. So actually, this works. Mm. Yeah, I made it difficult. So the time complexity. Still, we use one for loop, and this is a pure calculation, so it's linear. Obviously, space. We don't use any extra data structure, so only three variables. Obviously, it's still constant. I think there's a follow-up. What if the input numbers are come one by one as infinite stream? Yeah, I think our solution just support that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I we didn't store any numbers actually. We just get we, we just get numbers, right? 
one by one. So actually, we could change it to uh, we keep the track of the, in the index, track the count, and actually we uh, just could use the use the generators to get the next number. So it's gonna not be gonna be a problem. Cool. Okay, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.